about oh actually let's talk about this actually this this is a big one um i think i no do i owe megan megan the stallion an apology or do we all owe her an apology i think the whole internet does right so um megan the stallion got on social media the other day and essentially broke her silence regarding the problem or the issues or the kind of altercation she had allegedly with tory lanes that led to her being shot allegedly in both feet um and you know from the onset it didn't really look it didn't really it seemed quite fishy right no one could really get a gauge on what exactly happened because no no kind of details came out i guess partly due to the fact that it involved some high profile people in kylie jenner tory lanes allegedly well, kylie jenner allegedly tory lanes we know specifically um and obviously megan the stallion you know you could argue between the three of them they're worth billions in terms of streaming in terms of endorsements in terms of branding and business all that sort of stuff so it's within the it's within their it's within the team's interest to ensure that only a certain amount of news gets out there regarding the issue so that none of their business gets ruined because anything involving guns anything involving a female especially being mortally wounded or being wounded in any capacity is definitely going to never never is definitely going to negatively affect their pockets right which is kind of you know which is really fucked up really because you know i think any other person this happens to this this news gets blasted out all over the place but the higher up the higher up you are in terms of celebrity the more well known you are the more famous you have happen to be the more easier it is for you to kind of um silence or kind of put the dampers on the story so i was a little bit skeptical of it people are making their jokes online being funny about it which you know i think you should be allowed to do i don't think i think everyone being precious about oh you shouldn't say that because you know she's a girl and all sort of stuff it's it's fair but we don't know her you're allowed to make some jokes obviously if they're not funny they're not funny but you're allowed to make some jokes and kind of make fun out of it because we do that for everything and it just to bring some humor situation and sort of uh make it a little bit more easier to digest but when you watch this video of her kind of talking about it you do kind of think oh it's kind of even difficult even to make a joke regarding this issue because she clearly looks like she's going through it this is a instagram live taken or from making the silence instagram live where she sort of details exactly what happened uh well gives us a bit more detail on what happened and basically um <clears throat> kind of gives us some, some context as to what she's kind of been going through these last couple of months play it for you now i was shot in both of my feet I was, I was shot in both of my feet and I had to get surgery to get the shit taken out, get the bullets taken out. Um, and it was super scary. Imagine shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Just, just imagine that. Imagine shooting this gorgeous girl. Imagine. What is wrong with you? What's going through your head? But obviously, observation looking wise, because obviously the picture she uploaded in her Fenty outfit was bloody, you know, sensational. But, you know, you can only look, it's only, you can only, it doesn't take a scientist to look at her or psychologist to look at her face and see that she's definitely hurting. She's definitely been through it, right? This is a very troubling ordeal that she had to kind of put herself through and she's still not kind of recovered from this ordeal that she had to go through with this, this supposed person. I do feel bad for making jokes now. Oh, Lord. I didn't think I was going to cry. <laughs> but, yeah. I had to get surgery. It was super scary. It was, like, just the worst experience of my life. <laughs> and it's not funny. There's nothing to joke about. Exactly. It was nothing for y'all to start going and making up fake stories about. <laughs> I didn't put my hands on nobody. I didn't deserve to get shot and do shit. Jesus. And thank God that the bullets didn't touch bones. They didn't break tendons. Like I know, I know my mama, my daddy, my granny had to be looking out for me with that one, cause where the bullets hit at, it just imagine, imagine being, imagine being twenty five. And you don't, you don't have both of your parents. My mama was my best friend. She, you know, I'm still really not over that. God damn. So you like, you kind of try to fill like your space with a bunch of people that you think is making you happy.
man, being famous sucks, isn't it? It really does, isn't it? For all the for all the benefits you get, right? The fame, the adulation, the money, the respect from your peers that you looked up to and your heroes and stuff. Fame itself is just ugh. Having to deal with this stuff in public, pouring your heart out to your fans, having be feeling obliged. You have to because again, I wouldn't have done it if I was her. But she obviously feels some sort of obligation to explain to her fans that she's okay because she's probably getting inundated with DMs and messages from people reaching out, making sure she's all right and stuff. But god damn it, man! Or just having to keep up appearances in general. Maybe it's a record label. To, I don't know. Whatever. It's just annoying, right? You're, you went through a really traumatic experience. You're having to kind of really figure it out and come to grips with what exactly happened because we don't even know what happened. So she's probably having to figure out what happened, right? If we're confused, imagine how confused she is, right? One moment you're in a pool with Kylie Jenner in this iconic moment, everyone's like, wow, shit, she knows Kylie Jenner. Suddenly you're, you know, in some sort of altercation that results in both your feet getting shot. It's really a bit of a mindfuck. So you're having to process all of that whilst you're coming to grips with being famous anyway, right? She's only been famous, what, two or something years or something, right? And she's been in the public eye, like from, you know, in our collective consciousness. It's not a long time. Hey, it's hard to deal with, man. I feel, I feel, I've got a lot of sympathy for her. I really do, man. So a lot of things to deal with, but... She looks like she's battling through. Looks like she's getting through it. Obviously, this is probably the... This is obviously... It's a sad thing to happen, but it's also a great thing because it definitely does show you who your actual friends are, right? More so than your seen friends. You get to understand, no, these are my actual friends because the ones that actually are riding for you are going to come down and sort of like support you because unfortunately, it does involve some high profile people. So they're going to have to really decide who they are going to back. But the ones that are definitely in your camp are going to be in your camp forever and you're definitely going to find out who your ride or dies are. But God damn it, man, to go through this in public, it's, it's a lot in it. Especially as a young woman, as you said, isn't it? But navigating through the industry without your parents, especially your mum, who happened to be her cl best friend, as she mentioned, this is like, ugh. I feel a sympathy for her, man. I really do feel for her, man. Um, so, yeah, um, thoughts and feelings go out to Megan. Hopefully, she recovers in due course. And, yeah, people just allow her some time to kind of heal and repair and get to where she needs to get to in it because that's a lot to go through.